Hey guys, welcome back to another ASMR mukbang eating show. Today I have keto hash brown casserole with two slices of turkey bacon and a diet Pepsi. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am so hungry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dig right in. I haven't made this in so long. Look how cheesy it is. Mmm. This was an invention I made. Mmm. A while back. Mmm. Because I was craving the hash brown casserole from Cracker Barrel. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my own style. <laughs> So I made it with cauliflower rice instead of hash brown, of course. And I put salt, two tablespoons of heavy cream, two tablespoons of sour cream, and one cup of cheddar cheese. Mm. Look at that. Mm, my God. And I got my diet Pepsi oh my god this is such a treat mm. such good comfort food I love it mmm Oh my god, this is absolutely yummy, you guys. <clears throat> I haven't had it in a while because I was cutting back on fat. So I wasn't having like anything that had cheese or sour cream or heavy cream. But you know what? I deserve it because I already lost 100 pounds and my god do i deserve it <laughs> and i mean it's still keto of course we could have this in keto so it's not like i'm cheating but like i said i have put myself into like a stricter mode of keto just because i wanted to speed up the process to reach wonderland and i did it i'm so happy So, you know, yeah, I'm still going to continue to like limit the fats and stuff like that. And I'm still sticking to leaner meats. That's why I'm doing turkey bacon instead of regular bacon. But yeah, oh my God. We all deserve a treat and to spoil ourselves from time to time. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so happy, like you guys just have no idea how happy I am. I mean, the fact that I lost 100 pounds in only nine months, I'm still shocked myself. Like, I can't believe it. I know I always say this, but keto is so amazing. Like, it has totally transformed my life. And I couldn't be happier. Mm. And what I love about this is that I still have some there for later. Because I made the whole bag, but I didn't eat the whole bag. I only had like half of it. So yeah, I have some more there for later. 
Hey! Sorry. I think my cats are trying to get to the sink. Callie! They think they're slick. Like, I don't allow my cats. I know people who have cats, and I'm an animal lover, you know? Mm. Sadie! I don't know who it is. This is one of them. <laughs> I'm an animal lover, but I know there are people who have pets. And, you know, animals obviously shed, so they let their animals go all over, like, the their furniture and stuff like that. And I don't mind, but most of the time I, like, scare them away so they jump off. Cause they shed a lot and one thing that i do not allow them is on my um kitchen sink because that's gross like that's where we cook you know our sink our stove we cook you know we do our dishes and we don't want to our stuff mixed up with like animal fur and stuff like that you know so yeah i don't allow them to just <laughs> do what they want <laughs> Oh my lord, this is so good. Mm. This is super yummy. <laughs> I'm enjoying it so much. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Mm. It was cheesy. It was creamy. It was delicious. <laughs> oh. So I don't, I don't drink diet soda too often. But like I said, I wanted to do something different. My friend came over the other day. Cause we had a, a game night and we were just like chilling and stuff and i made some chicken wings and he brought soda so these were left over from the cans he brought and i was like oh why not i'll bring some diet pepsi today for my it's breakfast food but it's actually lunchtime right now it's like one or something so <coughs> oh sorry guys oh my god <coughs> every time i drink soda it never fails <laughs> um yeah, this is my first meal of the day. All I've had today is coffee. I always do intermittent uh, fasting on keto. So I don't eat like from the night before, maybe like around 7 or 8 p.m. is the last time I eat. And then I go all night without eating or drinking anything else till maybe about noontime the next day. And the first thing I'll have in my system is some coffee, my keto coffee. And then I have two meals a day. So basically that's what I do. <laughs> so yeah, this was my first meal of the day. So it's like about one. So yeah, even though it's breakfast food, it's basically my lunch. And later on, I'm just having my dinner. Sometimes after dinner, I crave a little sweet. I either make myself a coffee or some jello, sugar-free jello with whipped cream and some nuts. Or if I'm not in the mood for that, I'll just grab a handful of nuts. It really depends what I'm in the mood for. I did buy some... Um, elevation bars which is like atkins bars but it's uh it's the aldi brand and um i have them very rarely because i don't like to have them often and because i think one time they kind of like but i was doing the atkins ones i think they kicked me out of ketosis for like a day or something or a few hours and yeah, so I tested it out and I completely cut them out, you know, but my friend Angel was like, you know what? You just serve them, buy them, have them handy. So when you reach Wonderland, you give yourself that treat and you have that one bar. So I already had that one bar. So it's been maybe like a few weeks. I haven't had another one. I have them there in the cupboard, but I'm being strong. I won't have them. Like I said, they are keto approved, the elevation bars, but we're not supposed to have them every day or often. So I'm going to try to like stick to maybe one 
bar once a month or something like that so yeah so every time i crave a sweet i'll just you know do my coffee with my um sugar-free french vanilla creamer which is uh keto approved as well and which is the way i've been doing my coffee since day one of keto but what i do now it is i add a tablespoon of coconut oil to my coffee because coconut oil is the trick to burn that belly fat really good for you and let me see what else so yeah and if i don't want coffee then i'll just have like my sugar-free jello and with my whipped cream the canned one not the one that comes in the tub not the cool whip the whipped the real whipped cream that comes in the can that you shake and you squirt on your stuff <laughs> on your desserts that's uh, approved on keto so i put like about two squirts with my jello and it satisfies my sweet tooth and i'm all set <laughs> for the night so yes all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this mukbang that's it oh my god this was so good i totally enjoyed it and like i said i'm having such a good day today i'm so happy because wow 100 pounds you guys i can't believe i finally reached that milestone anyway i wanted to share this mukbang with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it also if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos and click on the description box below so you can get a link to all my social media i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys